This week we're going to be covering a little bit of everything. So over the past four weeks we've been revising programming and now we're going to be looking at um, just to pull all of that together and put it into one big program. Um, so there's only going to be one program this week. So if you go to the team, it's just called A Bit of Everything under week five. And what you have to do now, it looks a little bit intimidating to begin with. I'm not going to lie. But the idea is um, if you just take it step. So if you look at the document, remember you have to press preview now. If you just take it step by step, it shouldn't be that bar uh, it shouldn't be that bad. So if you were to do a uh, coursework, um, it, it it just gives you all at once. Whereas this is step by step, and um, and then you will have like the complete package by the end if you just take it one task at a time. And I'm gonna help you go through one task at a time. And um, so the first in this video, I'm just gonna go over the first task or two. But um, the way I've set up the document is so that it's all structured in a way that it will help you. So what it's about is it's about the average life expectancy of animals. So we've got life expectancy here. And um, there's a bunch of animals and their average ages. Now, I will say I've looked up some of these. Some of these are a bit dodgy. I think it's in captivity, so it might not be 100% accurate, but we'll just go with it. So there's 156 um, different sets of animals and ages. Um, I've just done the like just a tiny little bit. I've started the program just so you know that you've got your functions and then you've got your main program down here. But the main task is here. So let's look at that. Um, so reading and displaying a file. So the first thing you need to do is read in the data from the file life expectancy.txt. That's what we were just looking at. Return this data to two arrays and it should be called animal list and age list. Well, that's why I recommend you call them. It will help you out if you stick to them. It will make sense as we go on later on. Um, now, hence, look back at tasks, um, these ones here. If you look back at them, right, um, we, we've done this before. Um, so two point, um, all the tasks two actually is about reading in files. So if you have the answer, if you've done 2.3, if you look at that, um, it'll be down here. Um, and if you go to higher computing, and then you go to, if you've got an answer here, you basically just have to copy and paste that and actually done both task one and task two really. And then you just have to change a couple bits. Um, if not, if you look at task, if you just look at task 2.1, and um, then there is here, it shows you how to read in um, from either single string columns, single integer columns or multiple columns. Now we obviously have we have two columns. So what all you've got to do is, if you look at 2.1, I guess, and you copy this code here, or you can copy your complete version, and go to main, and you see this, just overwrite this, and that, that's us on the right track, right? So um, from there, you would just have to delete list C, delete this bit here, um, delete this bit here, um, delete that um, and then you just give it a better name right so rather than um, you would change this to be life expectancy dot txt and you would change all these lists to be age not sorry animal list so animal list would replace all list A's and age list capital L age list would replace all list B's and that's it and now these get returned as annual array and age array so it reads it in and then if I was you every task I would just print it out in the main program and just make sure what what you expect to come out is actually going there so we run that and um, that's what we expect and um, to a degree I'm not sure what this slash t is how on earth is that got oh it's this string bit here okay right and uh, make that in and there you go so that's 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 task one now all the tasks are the task after that is just to display it so like i said if you've done that one you have um you can just copy and paste it and paste it over but it's just printing out in full sentences rather than just arrays like i've got there where is it here it's to print out in full sentences like this and that's task one and task two 
Um, three, four, five, and six are all standard algorithms. So um, that's something that we've done loads of before. And now I've said what tasks to look back at before for like how to do find minimum. Um, I've done that for everyone actually. And I've also wrote the pseudocode um, just in case you can't find it for whatever reason. So the pseudo if you just followed the pseudocode for this program, um, you'll get find minimum, find maximum, counting occurrences and linear search. You should be able to get all four of them working. Um, task seven is, it's a little bit difficult to be honest. Um, so it's when um, you would, um, you go back to your task two, which is the display method. And because we've got so much standard algorithms, remember you shouldn't, if I'm saying print down here, that's just to check it. All prints should go through a display procedure. Um, so if you, you, you have to edit your display and add all your, like basically everything you've returned needs to be passed down to display. And then you can start printing it out and your expected result. So if you pass down everything up until this point, um, this is what it should look like. So it should say, which age do you want to search for? So that's the counting occurrences. And then enter the name of the animal you want to find. That's a linear search. It will find the minimum straight away. So the minimum is the ant, the max is the, the tortoise. And it will say whatever number the counting occurrence you got. And then it will find the animal and say what position. And then it will just print out everything as usual. Um, so yeah, just you're editing the display function to take into account these two bits here. And um, task eight is writing to a file. Uh, all I want you to write is just the just the two bits of data as they are. If you want, you can make it look like this. That would be brilliant. But um, for bare minimum, just make sure you can write. Um, you, you're basically just reading it in and then writing it back out. Um, it should be in full sentences. I'll change that actually. So it should say. African grey parrots live on average for 50 years, but I'll edit that by the time this video goes up. Um, extension tasks. Now, um, the higher coursework is going to include, it always includes like an additional challenge that isn't a standard algorithm. That'd be too, too easy just to copy and paste something. Um, and I've kind of made a few additional challenges just to kind of get the like the idea across, the level of difficulty across. Um, so. I would hope that everybody at least tries one of these. I've kind of made what I think, this is the easiest, this is kind of medium, and this is the hardest. Now, I'm not saying it's easy, um, but it's the easiest of the bunch. Um, and that is to calculate the average age, so of all animals, so you'd have to read them all in, add them all up, divide it how by however many animals there is, um, to, and a function to add animals to the list, so you're actually editing the list. It doesn't have to be in alphabetical order, that doesn't matter, you can just add them to the end, that's fine. Um, and there's one to search for a, spe uh, a specific letter, so say you look up the letter E, it would give you all of these animals, so it, it would add them to a new array and then print out that array. And the last extension task is task 12, um, and that is basically, there was like a little bit missing about linear search, so like the politeness bit where you say like if you can't find anything you say sorry that animal wasn't found but it's also just to adapt it so all these extension tasks are taken into consideration if you do all 12 tasks if you manage to complete that and um, this is what your final result should look like this is this is everything now i know it might look a little bit intimidating but i it's done in a way that if you if you get stuck you can just um you could always like comment out, move back, um, move back to it later, especially standard algorithm ones, um, and that's the beauty of like using sub programs. That the program is modular. If if you break this little bit, doesn't mean you've broken this bit down here, and vice versa. That's why we're breaking up the program. Um, but it's done in like a slow, methodical way. That if you just if you just follow the instructions in this order, and um, you should be okay. Um, right, hopefully that makes sense. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.